An article in the latest edition of PC Gamer magazine just got posted to reddit and we have our first early look at what first person combat in Elite Dangerous Odyssey will be like. If you enjoyed this video remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and if you'd like to support our work you'll also find us on Patreon. Links to everything you need are in the description below. Subscribers to the physical version of PC Gamer magazine are getting their latest edition plopping through their mail slots as we speak and it contains an interview with Piers Jackson from Frontier about Odyssey. Whilst the lion's share of the article doesn't really tell us anything we didn't know already it does have some tantalising details on the first person combat that is being introduced in Odyssey and importantly how that combat is paced and what it will feel like. There has been a degree of fear within certain quarters of the community that we were all about to be introduced to some sort of fast paced cartoonish elite fortnite mashup first person franken monster. Whilst that isn't a fear we particularly shared here at the pit I am nonetheless happy to report that the article clarifies that that very much is not the case. The general vibe we're getting from the interview is that the combat is generally of a more tactical nature and being pitched somewhere between a realistic military sim like Armour and one of a more accessible and faster paced game like Call of Duty. It is most definitely not an arcade shooter. Different weapons will have different draw speeds and different aim down the sight speeds so players will feel a different pace of gameplay depending on their weapon choices but the article does specifically state that whilst it's not aiming for a twitch based draw your gun and immediately fire style of shooter there will still be a pace to the gameplay and Frontier are looking for it to be exciting. Players will also be choosing how they approach a ground engagement and making weapon choices around those preferences whether they prefer a close quarters style of combat that is faster paced or more of a long range standoff approach which will likely be slower paced we're guessing. There is also a mention in the article of what Frontier are calling physical multi crew. If you're in a wing with someone you'll be able to grant them access to your ship and fly them physically to another location, a distinctly different approach to the current limitations inherent in the telepresence approach that the game uses currently. That functionality raises a bunch of questions in and of itself but the article doesn't expand on the feature any more than that. It does lend further weight to the idea that Frontier have already expressed that you don't necessarily need to own a starship to play Elite in the Odyssey generation and the game could well be looking at its first cross galactic hitchhiker fairly soon after the launch. There are also some more scant details on the suit choices that are coming to Odyssey and it seems that your choice of suit will afford you more weapon slots in the case of a tactical suit or more equipment in the case of a scavenger or exploration theme suit all of which will again affect the pace of the first person gameplay. The article also confirms that first person players and starships will occupy the same space during ground engagements meaning a starship could be helping or indeed hindering your combat experience throughout Odyssey. I've linked to the scans of the physical article that were posted on Imager below if you want to read the full piece yourself. They're not in a great resolution but they are just about readable. Overall I'm not hugely surprised by what I've read but I am really really pleased to hear that this is the approach that Frontier is taking. To me it absolutely feels like the right way to go. Elite is never going to be an arcade style shooter in space and there's no reason to believe that that would be a good fit on the ground either. We've had two good developer diaries now and I'm excited to see the next one. Here's hoping we finally get to see some gameplay when that surfaces. So how are you feeling about what you've heard now about ground combat in Odyssey? Did you want to play Fortnite in Elite or are you already planning your first long range sniping spot on the surface of a dusty moon? Sound off in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.